Hello and welcome back to our channel. Hopefully you all are doing well. Today, we have an exciting topic to discuss. Nobody used to touch the Iraqi dinar. Nobody used to invest in Iraqi stocks. The value of their currency was considered worthless. But thanks to Sudani, the whole world now knows the potential of the Iraqi currency. The only way for Iraq to raise the value of their currency is to do so gradually over time, based on the success and growth of their economy. This gradual approach would allow them to withdraw large quantities of currency as the economy prospers. It would also enable them to float the currency based on economic success and diversification. However, the major issue with Iraq is their heavy reliance on oil. People may argue that they are compliant with Article 8, but what does that really mean? The fact remains that Iraq lacks a stable economy and a stable government. The good news is that Iraq is making progress. We are watching it all unfold, albeit slowly. But mark my words, it's just a matter of time before bam, suddenly things will change. One recent development that caught our attention is the economic praise for Iraq and Russia's agreement to deal in dinars and rubles. This is seen as a masterstroke that could potentially boost Iraq's economy. Another significant step is the ongoing work towards passing the oil and gas law, as mentioned by the Parliamentary Energy Committee. But here's the important part. This law needs an internationally acceptable currency exchange rate. The way they are talking about it gives me the impression that they are ready for this rate, so that they can discuss, read, and vote on it. And let's be honest, who wouldn't vote for it when it benefits all Iraqi people? As for the highly anticipated HCL payments, they are all over the world, wherever Iraqi citizens qualify for these funds. And guess where the elusive HCL is? In a little box, sitting right on the top shelf of Sudani's desk. Oh, but wait, it's currently being reviewed. And you know what that means? It will require a new exchange rate. Are they going to pay you 30 cents a month? I don't think so. So there you have it, folks. Exciting times ahead for Iraq. Keep an eye on the developments, because a new exchange rate might just be around the corner. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more exciting updates. Take care and see you next time.